Hey guys, I felt like it was time for me to do a recap and show you some of my favorite moments of the Braxton Family Values thus far. Family Values. Okay, so let's talk about Tracy. She always gets the short end of the stick. I, I am a part of the family and feel like I ain't a part of the family. People outside of the family are more family than what the f I am. I don't know what it is. She's kind of like, you know, that kid that you don't talk about much. And that's how they treat her. It's supposed to be a weekend kind of going towards Tamar's birthday. Even though Tracy's birthday is right here too. So, I mean, their birthday is like two weeks apart. Why can't they just come together and celebrate like that? Always feel so bad for her. Meanwhile, they're running around planning all these events. And she's the only married one. So they might want to check in with her to figure out what it is that she's doing that's working. Boyfriend, girlfriend trip. It can't be a boyfriend, girlfriend trip because you and I, we married. All right. Trina's been having a rough go at it. You know, we all know that Gabe was diagnosed with stage four cancer and he went faster than she expected. Uh, he told her what was happening and he kind of kept her at bay because he really didn't want her to see him in the final days. I was never gonna see him again, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just fast. It was fast. I hate cancer. Sometimes things come as a wake up call. You have a significant other. Mine is a good one. That's a lot to ask of a man to watch you grieve over another man. Family is rallying around her, doing things to make her laugh and make her happy. And you cannot discount her dude, Vaughn. He is really stepping up to the plate because, like she said, I mean, what other kind of guy is going to stick by you when you're mourning not only your ex, but another guy that clearly she was in love with? And now I will pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Tawanda. We already know she's the trusted sister, and she's the one that everybody generally goes to. She's the event planner. She's the babysitter. She's the driver. She's kind of the go-to girl. But I am so happy that she now has a mate and she's happy. So I wish her the best. Let's hope wedding bells are in her future soon as well. On the East Coast. Uh-huh. I'm on the West Coast. Right. So when, when are you moving here? Are you asking me to move in? So you gotta love how Tony's been nominated for a Grammy. Truth be told, I didn't realize that she was still making music and out on a scene like that. The gold. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We say the gold. That's cute. Oh, wait, wait. Well, gold you know, that's two inches below your thing. I made it for a Grammy, and she bought the girls in to help her pick a dress. This was beautiful, just beautiful. Just make sure you're wearing panties. You know, because you're at that age now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, the only thing about this dress uh -huh. is the hee-haw is ex a little exposed. Well, I oh. Her mother's comments are priceless. Mm -mm. You're 20, you can get away with it. You're 30, you can get away with it. But not at 45 or 50. I don't think so. Cover it up. But which dress did she wear? You know, Great job, Tony. Keep up the good work. Everybody. Oh, I am gonna make a toast to myself. Clink! Ooh, ooh, ooh. But then, how do you go to the Grammys without a date? You know, this whole Birdman situation is very suspect. When it was first announced, I thought it was a joke. But then as you see throughout the season, you know, he's made little appearances here, little appearances there, and they talked about him. Well, here he is, front and center. Well, hi. I'm glad he made it. I know he was going to come. You know, he just runs at his time, B time. But he's here and I'm glad he's here with me tonight. I ain't got money, because I'm going to make sure that. So what's the problem with you and me? Did he just say that? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, clearly he understands. 
No woman wants to be with a man who's not gonna help her make money. I'm alive. Listen, I'm making a desperate live call because I lost my wallet and I wanna know if there's any um, psychics out there to let me know where the hell I put this wallet. Any psychics in the building, where's the wallet? Then there is Tamar, the baby of the bunch. Of course I had to save her for last cause we kinda can relate to each other. She just won Celebrity Big Brother and it was actually life changing for her. So let's see what happens now. Congratulations Tamar! I feel like I'm on a real winning streak right now, okay? I never won nothing in my life. Hey, Tamar, just won a quarter of a million dollars. All right, good Lord, that's a lot of money. And might I add, a history-making winner being the first African-American to win prize. Did you know that? You better go, girl. The other people, and they don't have half as half of amazing life that I do. I'm not talking about things, I'm talking about people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you have such an amazing life, you take the little things for granted. Yeah, I really thought that I was going in this house to play a game, but it basically played me. Love found, lessons learned, bonds mended. These past few episodes have shown all of that and more. But most importantly, what we constantly see is how above all, family matters.